Hi, my name is Bill Parkinson, and today I'd like to show you some of the exciting features in Icinity Ecom Suite 5. Ecom Suite 5 is a powerful combination of a content management system, integrated e-commerce store, and Sage ACPAC ERP. As you can see from this sample site pulling data from ACPAC SAMI, we have created a story around Acme Warehouse. So we've told a little bit about who Acme Warehouse is, we've added a bit of information about a new product that they're carrying, and we've embedded some news. Looking at the information about the product, you can see that we've created a hyperlink that tells us if we click here, it's going to take us directly to these products in the store part of the website. Once we've linked into the store, we see that it's showing pictures and things such as quantity and price from the accounting system. If we were to log in as a different client, and go back and look at the same page, we'll see that now all the pricing has changed, there's discounts, it's now in US currency, and this is because of the deep integration that I simply has with Sage ERP ACPAC. But really the exciting news about this is not so much what you can do at the front end, but how you manage all of the back end. So let's go take a look at that. In the back end we have a complete content management system with all the things that you'd expect to find in content management. We have generic content, news, blogs, lists, polls, forums, images and documents, events, newsletters, and wiki. All of these things are managed here, and they're all managed based on roles and permissions that you give to both staff and customers. Let's go for a minute and take a look at how you build a page. So because Icindy is a complete content management system, as you build pages, they're entered into your sitemap. Everything is designed to be search engine optimization friendly, so you get things like standard naming for pages across the top. So let's go into products and create a new page. I'm simply going to say create a new page and click on here. And this is going to bring up a form that I fill out to give the page a name. So let's say we're going to call this chairs2. will actually give the label name New Executive Chairs. We want this page to show up in our navigation and it's a normal page. A page group is a page like products where there's nothing in it, it's simply a header to show up in your menus. External page allows you to link to an outside page, something that's pure HTML or even possibly into things like CRM. Now we're getting into the metadata portion of the page. and you can fill out whatever information you want here for the search engines to go through. You can also go in and set up additional information, whether you allow anonymous users to act, have access to this page, if this page should be covered under your SSL cert, and so on and so forth. For the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to create the page. It asks me the page. It asks me to select the template. In this case, template isn't a $29.99 template from some free CSS site. This is actually a standard master page with some pre-saved controls in it. So in this case, we've created the master page and we've actually pre-saved into this master page a menu control, a shopping cart control, the company name, a breadcrumb, another set of um, menus, a welcome, a product search, so they're all just controls that we've dragged and dropped onto the page and saved them so we don't have to do that every time we create the page. To start with, I'm going to throw a little bit of generic content in the top, and I can go in and edit this, I can add a picture if I want. If I want, I can create this as an H1 heading. This way the search engines know how to deal with this and know that it's important information. 
I'm going to say I'm done here. And I'm going to go add another control. But this time, I'm going to go into Icinity's controls. And I'm going to drag and drop a product category onto the page. And I want it to show up underneath there, the executive chairs. We're going to go in and we're going to edit this control. I'm going to look for C1 in the ACPAC listings. And this will give us all of the chairs that are executive style chairs. I'm going to click on the first one, hold down the shift key, click the last one, and that will select all of them. Control and click will select individual items. I'm going to add these into our selection, and I want to resort these. So this time I want to sort them by price instead of by number. And I'm going to say I'm done. I want to preview this. And yes, I'm happy with the look. So I'm just going to shut that down. And I'm going to publish the page. Now when I go back out to Sitefinity and I go to my product listing and refresh it, I'll see that down at the bottom is new executive chairs. I click on the new executive chairs and there's the page that we've created. Please stay tuned for more exciting my Sims for my Sinity about my Sinity Ecom Suite 5.0. Thank you. Have a great day.